Hello, and welcome back to Dr. Monroe's Material Science videos. In this video, we're going to be talking about bonding forces and bonding energy. So we've already talked about um, why, the reasons why atoms are attracted to each other. And it's usually due to this Coulombic force, this, this uh, force created between positively charged and negatively charged entities. So um, what happens with atoms is when they're really far apart, they can't see each other, and so they're not attracted to each other. But as you start to get them closer to together, they start to interact, and they want to be closer, and there's a force that pulls them together. But it, they don't want to get too close. If they get too close, then they start repelling each other. And so there are two forces um, or two energies that we need to take into consideration. So if we want to look at the energy associated with the attraction and repulsion versus R, where R is the distance between two atoms. So if I have two atoms here, R would be the distance between the atom centers. And if I look at the energy as I change R, we will have two different forces. One of them is the force of attraction. And the other one will be the repulsion energy. So these are energies, not forces. We haven't gotten to forces yet. So the attractive energy takes the form C1, your book uses A, I believe, over R. In this case, C1 or A is just, um, just a constant. It's a constant number. Whereas the repulsive force takes the form C2. In your book, they use B. And that is over R to the N. So R, the repulsion, is to the N. The N will be different for different types of bonding. So you have covalent, ionic, uh, van der Waals, all these different types of bonds will have different forms of, of N. So if we were to plot the attractive force, sorry, the attractive energy, we'd see that Ea would look something like this. Now in an energy plot, lower is better. Lowest energy is the more relaxed, relaxed state, and therefore it's more uh, advantageous. And the repulsive energy will look something like this. You'll see, you see that the repulsive energy only takes effect at a much smaller distance between the atoms than the attractive energy. The attractive energy starts way out here. And what we get is a net energy, or what we can plot is the summation of the repulsion and the attraction. And that will look something like this. So the energy net is equal to the attractive energy plus the repulsive energy. And what we notice is that there's an energy well. There's a place where the atoms feel comfortable. And that's the minimum energy level right here, the minimum energy between these two atoms. And what that gives us is something called R0. And R0 is the equilibrium distance between two atoms in a substance. 
So if we were to plot the forces associated with this attractive energy, this repulsive energy, and this net energy, we'd see a little bit, something kind of the inverse of, of the attractive energy. The, the attractive force would look something like this. The repulsive force would start in the same, at the same radius and would look something like this. But the net force will be a little bit different. The net force will look something like this. But the R and the R naught corresponds to where the net force is zero. So that makes sense, right? That the atoms want to be in the location where they're not pushing on each other and they're not pulling on each other. So this R naught is the same in both plots.